Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here in this one, we will be talking about this beautiful web application which has been built on React, right? And it's a fitness web application that we will be covering in this tutorial. So as you can see, it's, uh, you know, completely dynamic and the content that you're seeing on the page is also dynamic. Why? Because we are pulling it from an external web application called rapid api through apis on this home page and the other pages of this app right so uh what all things we will be covering in this tutorial about this application let me just talk about that first and after that we will straight away dive into the tutorial so we'll be talking about the various functionalities of this application right how this application works and what all things uh, are there in this application which makes it really user friendly that's what we'll be talking about and after that later on in this video we will be talking about the coding section wherein i'll uh, tell you about how we are pulling the data through apis from the external website and getting it over here on the front end right so that's what we will be doing it uh, that's what we'll be doing in this tutorial hope you guys will definitely enjoy it do not forget to like and share my video please Right, so let's not waste time. Let's uh, straight away dive into the tutorial and check out the functionalities first. So here, as you can see, it's a home page. It's the home page of the application, and we have a button on the top which says "Explore Exercises." If I click here on this uh, button, it redirects me to the bottom of the page, right, wherein I can see different exercises, right, with different poses and all. Okay, now if I click on two, the data on the page changes. So the page is the same, but the data just changes. It's React that we're using here. So basically, uh, it's used for making single page application. And that's what we have used here also. So we have only one page on which we are just changing the data so as to make it look really dynamic. Okay, let's uh, just come back. Okay, and if I click on home, yeah, fine. So now coming down, we have a search button. Okay, search functionality in place. Now, if I want to search for exercises related to waste let's see what's going to happen if i type waste and click search over here so the chair the sizes have changed and now i can see the waste related exercises at the bottom of the page if i type something else so let's say back okay what's going to happen to the bottom of the page the exercises have changed earlier we were able to see waste related exercises and now there are back exercises which we can see on the page right now, coming back to this uh, section, we have a horizontal scroller in place. Let's see how it works. If I click here on this direction arrow key, okay, I can uh, scroll to the right side. If I want to scroll to the left, yes, I can do that too. But what happens if I click on these, uh, you know, cards? So if I click on neck, let's see what's going to happen. So now the exercises have changed to neck. Okay, we can see the neck related exercises here. If I, if I click on lower legs, the exercises again have changed to lower legs, right? So that's how we have made use of this horizontal scroller. That's how it can be used, right? Now let's uh, click on all and see what's going to happen. So now we can see all the exercises, right? We have the page breakup also over here at the bottom. I want to now see the results, okay? So these are the results that we have at the bottom. Now, if I click on any of this, what's going to happen? Let's check it out. So it redirects me to a page where I can see a short description of the exercise, right? The parts of the body, which it, it will affect. And then we have some YouTube videos, thumbnails also over here uh, at the bottom of the page. Right, so if I click on this one, what is going to happen? Let's check it out. So it has redirected me to a YouTube video. Okay, so basically, we have used a YouTube API in the back backend for uh, you know getting this redirecting thing in place. Fine, let's just go back to the home page and let's click on some other icon. But before that, I would like to go with the neck exercises and let's see if i click here on this what's gonna happen so as you can see you know the data over here has changed right and the videos also have changed and we can see the relevant videos on this page 
there is nothing irrelevant which is coming on the page everything is relevant what we have selected if i click on this let's see what happens happen. so we can see the video right uh, there is an advertisement but we are not going to focus on this let me just close this youtube panels okay so this is how you know uh, this application can be used right it's a full fledged fitness web application the login logout functionality is not there sign up is not there but yes if you know how to create it you can definitely add two more pages one for login one for sign up and then you know it's good to go so let's now uh, not waste the time and let's see the coding section so what all things are there in the coding part let me tell you that one by one okay so we have this <coughs> sorry we have this environment folders uh, right in which we have this uh, key right rapid api key which we have generated through this exercise db on rapid api for this exercise db on rapid api right so we have created a separate file in which we have kept the key then we have the source folder in which we have this utils named folder wherein we have defined the apis related things so as you can see we have an api for youtube for, through which we are pulling the youtube related data and then we have this api also in place which is helping us in pulling up the uh, you know these details waste exercises these images and all right now uh, what else do we have let me tell you that so we have two pages one for the one is the home page right and the other is the exercise details page so when we click on any of these buttons right we get to see the details or description you know related to the exercise so this is the page which is uh, coming from here and the home page is this one right which we see when we first uh, you know launch the application it's the landing page basically okay so as you can see in the home page we are calling hero banner search exercises and exercises these are the three components and two of which are parameterized so we are passing the parameters right over here uh, now what is happening in the components let me show you that so let's talk about search exercises and exercises for now search exercises is this one okay so we are simply using these apis and we are pulling the records right then we are uh, pulling the name of the item we are pulling the target we are pulling the equipment and we are pulling the body part so these small in small information which you're seeing over here they are coming from this particular uh, variable or you can say function right we have we have put a filter on the top of it then we have we are just showing it using stacks and you know buttons these material ui related things there is a horizontal scroll bar also that we have in place okay this is the one i'm talking about so for this we have created a separate component with the name horizontal scroll bar wherein we are again calling you know the items so item id key then titles all this that you're seeing over here is coming from this particular section okay then we have this uh, showing results right so this is coming from so we have this body part right we have this uh, you know details icon name okay icon name so body part image and name of the body part so this is coming this is coming from here from this detail section and from this body part section so it's very simple you know it's not a rocket science which you cannot do if you know react how it works definitely you can create this application in a very less time right you just have to you just need to know about the api related things how can we pull the data using api so if you see here we are pulling we are using youtube's api right and we are passing it a parameter and then we are fetching the results from it okay and we are just showing the title and the name of the channel so if i click on this see uh, just a second yeah 
we are seeing the uh, thumbnail we are seeing the title right so that's that's something which is very easy when if you know about apis right how to pull data through apis and how react works how props can be used for passing the data from one component to other right if you know all this definitely you can create these kind of applications and in case you are a beginner and you want to learn more about it you want to learn from me you can definitely take my coding classes you can contact me i guide you about how can you go uh, and learn different things which can help you becoming a successful software developer you can see my phone number on your screen just pick up your phone dial my number and get the description get the information thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys